Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churn homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. It's the best part of Dorothy's dream. Come with us today on Around Kansas as we prove that there are a lot of fun things to see and do in the Sunflower State. First up is Stagecoach Station 15 in Norton. Next meet Dwayne Bailey, a Kansas musician who played for years with Bob Seeger in Chicago. Then learn about a famous Kansas aviator, Philip Billard. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers. Around Kansas, brought to you by Tarwater Farm and Home. Come on by, we'll treat you like family. Good morning, I'm Frank Chafin and welcome to Around Kansas. Today, we're gonna cover several topics that uh, we cover in Around Kansas, namely uh, small town living and uh, some history and a native son. A native son is a guy named Randy Sparks. I had the pleasure of meeting Randy about 14 years ago Randy was born in Leavenworth, Kansas in 1933. Yes, he's 81 years old. He formed the uh, New Christie Minstrels back in the 60s, and they are still on the road doing concerts virtually every night all around uh, the United States and in Europe. Now, why do I mention Randy? Because Randy also loves history, and he wrote many songs about the state of Kansas, believe it or not, and we're going to tell you about one today, and it has to do with the gold fields of Kansas. Oh, you didn't know there were gold fields? Yes, there were. In 1858, there was a strike near Denver. At that time, Denver was part of Kansas, the Kansas Territory. In 1859, a stage line was formed. It was called the Leavenworth to Denver Express. Now, Randy Sparks was born in Leavenworth, Kansas, so he knew about uh, the, the stage line a long time ago. Okay, all along the stage line, every 25 miles, there were stage stations. And that's where they had a fresh set of horses, a new crew, and you could get refreshments. We're gonna talk to you today about Station 15. Station 15 was, and still is, by the way, in Norton, Kansas. Now, Norton, Kansas, of course, is on Highway 36. The stage line really was the first Highway 36. Anyway, it was formed in April of 1859. In May, the 24th as a matter of fact, 1859, there occurred at that station something quite unusual. If you don't mind, I'm going to read this. This is written by Randy Sparks. I have not heard the music to it, but this is the poetry. On the Leavenworth and Pikes Peak stage, the shortest route to the Kansas gold fields, yes, Denver, on May 24th, 1859, there converged at one place at Kansas Station 15, now Norton, a most impressive roster of famous and soon to be famous Old West characters. That story when we come back. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. Just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Okay, now Randy Sparks' tale of that day, May 24th, 1859, at Station 15 in Norton, Kansas. Here we go. I have ridden on the Leavenworth Pikes Peak Express once or twice, if only in my mind. I've shared a seat with ten stars and outlaws of the West. I've feasted on the tales they left behind. At the station in the shadows, I can see them gathered round. May they rest in peace upon the printed page like a dime novel roll call upon that hallowed ground. One by one, they climb down from the stage. There's old White Coat, go west, young man, famous Horace Greeley leads the way. Then Albert Dean Richardson, the Civil War reporter, eager to commemorate this day. And the keeper of this station on the LPP Express, 
Is a Cincinnati lawyer gone astray and his wife, the Bowery actress, still wears her wedding dress even though their famous child is on the way? Tis William Bonney Sr. looking frail and forlorn, exiled to the Kansas wilderness, doomed to share his honest name with Billy the Kid. He calls out to the drivers of the LPP Express, Howdy, Pat and Wild Bill, climb down and set a spell. Tell me all the news from out of the States. Pat is Patrick Dolan, the famous Texas Ranger, Bill Hickok of the Aces and Eights. Now on that day, a stage going east also stopped. When we come back, guess who's on it? <laughs> American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here now, putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Around Kansas, brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome back. We continue our story. Remember, the eastbound stage has now arrived. Then stranger than fiction, the eastbound stage parts the sage and rumbles to a rest. High up on the box sits a young Pat Garrett, as yet an unsung hero of the West. And the driver riding shotgun is a Californio who is hired on to steal the Denver gold. Tiburcio Vasquez is the name we'd come to know as a villain of renown in days of old. And there inside the coach of the LPP Express sits a go back from the Colorado strike, a young girl from the East who has met with such success, giving rich and lonely miners what they like. And the Pinkerton detective who is paid to intervene is the hero of great legends yet to be. The law west of the Pecos is honored Judge Roy Bean. He escorts the youngster to her family. I've ridden on the Leavenworth Pikes Peak Express once or twice, if only in my mind. I've shared a seat with ten stars and outlaws of the West. I've feasted on the tales they left behind. At the station in the shadows, I can see them gathered round. May they rest in peace upon the printed page like a dime novel roll call, upon that hallowed ground, one by one, they climb aboard the stage. There it is, Station 15. It's still there in Norton. You can take a look at it. It's open 24-7, and it's right off of Highway 36. Now, just a little bit more history about the uh, Leavenworth to Pikes Peak Express. The company was subsequently chartered as the Central Overland California and Pikes Peak Express Company by the Kansas legislature in February of 1860. It absorbed the stage lines running from Missouri to Denver and to Salt Lake City. And though it's President William Russell, uh, he launched the famous Pony Express. Well, when the Pony Express became obsolete upon completion of the Transcontinental Telegraph, the business ran out of cash. Employees dubbed the company Clean Out of Cash and Poor Pay. On March 21, 1862, Ben Holliday purchased the holdings in a public sale for $100,000. Its facilities in the west bottoms of Kansas City, Missouri, were used to outfit travelers on the Santa Fe and Oregon trails following the Kansas River. After the company went out of business, its facilities became the Kansas City Stockyards. There you have it. We've given you a look at Norton, Kansas, at least in our minds, back to 1859. After the break, we're going to take a look at Norton. Car Waters has what you need for all seasons for around the farm and home. Working, hunting, growing, feeding, snow removal even fun for the kids, and a service department with experienced techs to help keep your equipment in top running condition. Tarwaters has a huge selection and the best prices. Tarwater Farm and Homes, 
Family owned and operated since 1978. They have what you need. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. Around Kansas, brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook, or visit us online at sftmeats.com. We took a look at Norton, Kansas in 1859, at least in our minds. And now let's take a look at Norton the way it is today through the eyes of a young man named Tim Sprigg. So with that, we'll leave you. We'll see you again somewhere from around Kansas. It's Friday morning, I'm been up all night Just to catch a glimpse of the morning light From my folks on back porch swing I've been watching it rain I went away for a couple of years But every day I thought about being here Sometimes I wondered if I'd ever make it back again To Norton, Kansas Cause that's where the best began best people I've ever known have called this Midwest village home at the crossroads of 36 and 283. The land is so flat you can see for miles and it's nice to see faces with nothing but smiles and even a stranger will probably call you friend when you're in
This is the fast track to more jobs and America's energy independence. Advanced performance is here now. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. The Kansas Sweet Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. Just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Welcome to the Celtic Fox in downtown Topeka, and it's a perfect place to talk about some of our best musicians from Kansas because they're just so devoted to sharing live music here. And while you might be familiar with a lot of names like the band Kansas, for example, one you might not know is Dwayne Bailey. And Dwayne actually grew up in Manhattan and went to high school there. And in 1972, he moved to L.A. with a band he had formed called Rathbone. Now, you might not know the name Rathbone, but I bet you know the name Bob Seger. And for those of us of a certain age, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band were just, you know, the top of the heap. Well, that Like a Rock album, remember that one? Those of you that might not remember the album, I bet you remember the Chevy truck ad that features the Like a Rock from Bob Seger. Dwayne Bailey is playing lead guitar on that. And after he left Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, he went to bigger and better things with the band Chicago. He was with Chicago for 10 years. He was actually with them when they got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He recorded some of their biggest albums with them, including one that he actually composed, sang lead, and played lead guitar on, The Stone of Sisyphus, and that's become a cult classic. So when you're thinking about Kansas musicians, be sure to look up Dwayne Bailey. He's still performing out in L.A., still doing great things. This hog is Hanover Hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Soil is the life of a farm, and for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. Around Kansas, brought to you the by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome to Around Kansas. I want to visit with you a little bit about Philip Billard today. Now, you're familiar with a lot of the names in aviation that are associated with Kansas, like Boeing, Beach, Lockheed, Raytheon. They just go on and on. And, of course, we have the most famous aviatrix ever in Amelia Earhart. But another name to add along with those is Philip Billard, young man born in Topeka in 1891. His family was French. In fact, it's a really interesting story about how his family fled France and the uh, reign of Napoleon III, and a lot of those French families wound up in Topeka of all places. He was a daredevil from the word go, and he probably got it honestly from the adventures that his French families had had and aviation was just in its early days and we had a aviation another aviation pioneer av longren right here in topeka who was building airplanes philip billard was a friend of longren 
and he watched him fly and Longren actually just told him, you know, just kind of sat down and went over the manual. Philip Billard got in the plane and flew it. His first flight he flew 20 minutes or something at about 125 feet and it was amazing and Longren commented that he was just relaxed and just natural in the air. So Billard bought one of those Longren planes. The family was pretty well off. He bought one of those planes and he would just do air shows for the people in Topeka. He was a, he was a real daredevil. Now that came to the attention of the Kansas National Guard. So in 1916, as Europe is in the midst of World War I, the Kansas Adjutant General actually commissioned Philip Billard as a captain in the Kansas National Guard. And the plan was that he was going to create an air unit in the Guard. You know, aviation is early, so the use of planes as, as weapons and in warfare was, was pretty pioneering as well. So the caveat was he had to buy the planes. And that was pretty expensive. And then the government would buy them from him when they actually got into the war effort and this unit was formed. Well, Billard got tired of waiting on all that to happen and he wound up just enlisting in the regular army. So he went out to California, went to flight school out there and they sent him to Europe not as a combat pilot, which is what he was hoping for, but as a test pilot. Now, as dangerous as being a test pilot sounds, Philip was actually kind of disappointed in that assignment. But he was very good at it and very well respected. And this is the story that I want to tell you about the last fateful flight that he had. He was um, flying with another guy, Robert Holt, who was a mechanic and they took off in a new de Havilland for a test flight. This was a biplane and it performed a series of maneuvers successfully and the test flight was going really well. But then the unexpected happened. After performing an aerobatic maneuver, witnesses reported that Holt, who was the mechanic, was slumped over the flight controls. The Liberty engine had stopped running and Billard was desperately trying to pull the aircraft out of a steep dive. He was able to get the engine started a few hundred meters above the ground, but the aircraft plunged into the French countryside at an incredible speed. Final determination of the cause of the crash was never known. When the news reached Topeka that the 27-year-old aviator had been killed, the entire town went into mourning. Now, in compliance with his wishes, his body was later exhumed. He was cremated and his ashes were actually scattered over the flower garden in Provence, France that had once belonged to his mother. So his brother Robert, after the plane crash, went over to France and did that. Um, it's very fitting that we're sitting here in the Ward Mead home where so many of, of Philip Billard's mother's furnishings are now, including portraits of her, just beautiful portraits that were done by her sister. So it's very fitting also that the Topeka Cemetery marks the grave of Philip Billard's dad and his grandfather every year as we are marking the anniversary of World War I. Tremendous article on Philip Billard. Appreciate the contribution of Dave Young from out at the Kansas National Guard who's researched Billard and so many of the other early guardsmen. And he's one you definitely need to, to read about and remember. Hey, next week we're going to be talking about Fred Funston. See you then. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff. Progress. Powered by Kansas Farmers. Welcome to Kansas. Gateway to Oz. Under the rain. This is where it was, hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes, we're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part of Dorothy's